Hello everybody, Epic Mew2 here. Today we are back for another Dokkan Battle news video. It is very late at night and it should be sleeping. The fan is on, I'm sure you can hear that in the background, I apologize. But we have some news to cover and some very, very exciting introductory news into the world of Dokkan's fifth year anniversary. Not only some cool information about the units that you see on your screen now, uh, but some uh, some information that you probably already know from the title. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, we have a brand new uh, story event coming to Dokkan that is going to feature two brand new free-to-play units, that being the kid or I, I, teen-ish, but more so kid Vegeta, um, as well as kid Broly. Um, we did see this in the last V-Jump leak, so we did know these guys were coming, um, but as you can see in the news, this is their little preview image, right? Um, this is like three Saiyans, you know, cross paths or whatever, but as you can see, there is a little fifth year anniversary Gogeta logo. Can we uh, can we zoom into that real quick? Can we get a zoom in right there, right? There is a little fifth year anniversary Gogeta logo. That'll come into play in a second. Now, <clears throat> we do know about this brand new uh, Zamasu as well. That was the Zamasu that we saw um, in V-Jump as well. This does look like... Um, Zamasu from when he first meets Goku and he's really mad and then he's fighting Goku I think is what that is. I'm not positive on that though on the scene, but uh, Also rest in peace str Zamasu, but as you can see here on The zero mortals plan. Oh, no, you know what this is. This is when he's wishing for uh, The wish to get Goku's body. I think either way though as you can see on the little promo image on the Zero Mortals Plan story event, we have a little Vegito 5th year anniversary icon. Confirming 100% officially, no leaks, no nothing, that Vegito is going to be the other 5th anniversary unit, just like we all thought. Now, do keep in mind this doesn't, you know, 100% confirm that they're both going to be base characters that go into their blue forms or anything like that just confirms that these are the characters right these could even be their blue variations it kind of doesn't look like it but it could just be their blue variations grayscale right so they're just like black and white essentially or i guess black and blue and black and yellow in this case but yeah 100 percent confirmation that the boys are coming to town for the fifth year anniversary boy is that exciting we will of course I'll be getting more official information on that during the live stream on Thursday. Excuse me, I need to take a quick sip of water. So definitely get hyped for that. Um, very, very excited for the information on what's to come. Again, this is just some preview information for the time being. Um, Goresh did give us a little bit of information on this, though. Uh, two new story events, Zero Mortals Plan and Three Saiyans Driven by Fate. Zamasu is a time traveler's leader. Kid Broly and Vegeta both have their own orbs. Broly is a pure Saiyan's leader and Vegeta's passive is attack plus 50%. So we'll probably get more detailed information about um, these particular free-to-play units as we get closer to the release date of these events. Um, but nonetheless, though, very, very cool there. Um, and Goresh also did give an interesting point here. Um, I think you can assume that Kid Broly and Vegeta will both be getting easy A's, but just keep in mind that it does not mention that. Purely me speculating. So that does make sense, right? Because they did the same thing last year with Goku Jr., right? They gave us this brand new free-to-play uh, unit, and then, uh, well, he got his own orbs and whatnot, obviously, like it says up there. But then he also got an easy A in Part 2. So keep in mind that it is 100% entirely possible for this to happen, um, that we could be getting easy A's for these two. Um, probably not Zamasu, though, in Part 2, but again, not confirmed. Either way, though, um, that is everything from the news section of that information. Um, I know it wasn't too much, um, but I figured that, you know, it's important enough to cover, obviously, because it's confirmation of the official, um, you know, units. And nonetheless, it is also confirming the fact that Gogeta and Vegito are going to be the two main units. Now, moving on, <clears throat> we do have, um, and this is actually really cool, on Global... The LRVB campaign is finally coming, which is awesome. 
because JP's LRVB campaign was a fat minute ago. A fat minute ago, bro. It was before the new Cell campaign. It was before Vegeta and I believe even before Trunks, right? It was a really, really long time ago that this campaign came to JP. So it is very awesome that Global is getting it. Um, I assume that this is probably the one free-to-play LR that everyone should have farmed up right uh, by now. So everybody, you know, most everybody, I guess, will probably be getting the preliminary awards. Because usually with these LR campaigns, if you already have the unit before the campaign starts... Um, you do get a little bit of extra rewards, um, you know, bef like if you have them complete before the campaign starts. So <clears throat> most people will probably have uh, Vegito complete and will probably get those extra awards. Nothing too big um, in terms of like, you know, new spectacularness with the uh, legendary campaign. It'll just be the same rewards as always for these. Um, but nonetheless, still very, very exciting because obviously global... Uh, he just kind of like poofed he just disappeared but now he's here so that's cool um interesting though it is starting on the second which is kind of weird that they didn't decide to start it now um i suppose maybe what they're trying to do is kind of give global something to do while the jp anniversary is going on because they seem to be a lot more aware now of like things happening on both versions and in the past, you know, it seemed like they kind of didn't care about, like, giving both versions something to do at the same time, like, when another one was having a celebration. But recently, it kind of feels that way, um, you know, just from, like, when they release new events and stuff like that. Um, I believe this month, Global is going to be getting a new Dokkan Fest as well. Um, so they'll have that to tide them over. Of course, it won't be comparable to fifth year but either way though um very very cool that global is now getting this uh shout out to uh whoever posted this on reddit by the way of course that will be linked in the description shonen jump one two one i like that anyway the final piece of information um is something that i didn't include in a news video just because i mean it would literally just been this one tweet at the time um this came from multiple different people um the hydros just kind of put it in english and put the whole piece of information together um boss rush 10 and infinite dragon ball history stage 5 are going to be coming for fifth year um and the events will be under maintenance obviously until they go up so that's really really cool obviously brand new boss rush means new stones and of course new infinite dragon ball history means some new rewards as well um it will be interesting to see what do confess they compile into boss rush stage 10 um because it's always kind of interesting to see what they do um, I don't know if they're going to do a uh, another 10 boss stage. I honestly think that a lot of the you know, teams nowadays could probably handle some of these big Dokkan Fests going back to back to back. So that would be really cool if they did end up doing that. Um, then obviously another Infant Dragon Ball History stage will be cool. And it'll be interesting to see what they base it off of, right, considering the last couple that we've had. So yeah, that's awesome. Um, and that is really all we know about fifth year anniversary at the moment um and just kind of everything in general um so either way though i hope you guys enjoyed um definitely let me know in the comments section oh yeah I, by the way i had to um i had to highlight this this post rest in peace i love the i love the title here <laughs> see ya kid um but anyway that is all we know at the moment um i am going to go out on a limb and say this is probably all we're gonna get um until the anniversary actually starts um or at least the live stream starts but this is very exciting news nonetheless uh again keep an eye out for the live stream i will be streaming that live on my youtube channel this year i'm not gonna sleep through it like last year i will be um just staying awake and then staying up to uh you know have a live reaction to the live stream i think kayvon is gonna stay up with me too um, and then obviously we'll get all the information there. So definitely, uh, keep an eye out for that. That will be literally when the live stream been happening, which it will be like 5 a.m. on Thursday. So I figured I'd just throw that at the end of here. So you guys would know if you weren't on the stream and didn't hear about it. Anyway, though, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a pleasant night, morning, whatever you're at. Good night.